Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf and this is the second of my unboxings for Christmas. I went to the, uh, the Entertainer toy shop and I got a couple of affordable little toys that I thought might be fun to unbox. The previous one was the Iku Robotic Puppy and this one is Fail Fix or hashtag Fail Fix and it's a very hip and happening up to date with the lingo um, dog. Or you could get a cat, or there was a horse. I think there was there was like two dogs, there was a little horse, and there was a purple cat. And I ended up with this dog because I quite like it. It's like a Saluki, and it reminds me of one of my characters, so I ended up with her. And the idea is that you you get this, and it's, it's just dirty and ugly and everything like that, and you have to give it a makeover to make it feel better about itself. So she's got paint all over her face, and she's had her nose in the mud and uh, she's, so she's looking a bit of a mess. Um, to be fair, I quite like how she looks. Um, the other one is the horse had the most hilarious disgruntled expression and I nearly got the horse to be fair. The cat was also quite funny and the other dog had like one of those squishy faces with all the teeth stuck out at all angles so that was quite funny as well. So this one amused me. It was four pounds. It was actually, um, there was 50% off it um, and I haven't seen these before so I thought well, why not have a go? So take over the makeover is what it says at the top there and then of course in different languages and it says that then you. And at the bottom it says magic mask which is that thing you see there and I thought that was quite a funny a beauty mask for a dog. Um, brush and style the fur. So it's your basic sort of little styling pet and that's what it's supposed to look like afterwards and at RT pup. Now I, don't, I haven't visited the social media site as at the time of making this video so I don't know exactly um, what it is I might have a look later on and on the back you've got be my style saviour take over the makeover magic mask brush and style accessorize and there's a little selfie of the dog there and there's a dog with presumably her owner who hasn't been doing a very good job of looking after her her face is covered in paint um, so this is what it contains, you've got a fail fix pet, removal failed face, one spa mask, one comb, a hat and a how to guide. And the website if you want to look at these is failfix.com. Other characters and accessories sold separately. So it's your typical um, packaging that these things come in, vacuum packed stuff. And just split it around down the uh, side. Oh, and it's by Moose Toys as well. Now, I quite like Moose Toys because they're the ones who make the bluey toys, and I really like the bluey. So, the fact it's by Moose Toys kind of reassures me on what sort of quality it will probably be because I think that they make quite good quality toys. So, Moose Toys, if you're watching, I, uh, I quite like your products. So we've got it out here. So there's the dog. There's the face mask. Pick her out. She's uh, her hair is still with that windswept look because she's been in the package for a while. Oh, she's fallen over. Will she stand up? Come on. I think it's actually her. Hair. Oh goodness like it's got gel in it or something. I'm guessing you brush that out. Let's just lay her down for a bit. And in this bit here you've got her accessories and whatnot. I actually have a bin right by this. So you've got the little icon there, fail fix, and the Moose Toys logo at the bottom. And a little painty paw print there. And on the top, accessories inside. Now you know me, I'm not really big on dressing up animals, but I like the idea of this simply because it was just... They just had such funny faces, they're all quite amusing. So you've got your instruction manual and a comb and it's got two things on it. And you know what, it kind of reminds me of a knit comb. You know when you're a kid and you've got knits and your mum gets out the dreaded knit comb and searches you. And then you've got a hat, which is purple. And that's it. So, let's put her up there so she's got something to lean on because clearly she's a little bit tipsy. 
and we'll get these out so I can find how to get into it. Might have to use my scissors again because this is actually sealed as opposed to, um, you know, normally they use a bit of tape, don't they, on these little bags? But this has been sealed, so take these out. I haven't done an unboxing for so long, well, before this week. It's quite fun. So you've got this little guide, and it's all in colour, which is quite nice. It's got some nice artwork there. And it takes you step by step through how to look after your pet. So you have a the dog, which is supposed to be actually it's supposed to be an Afghan, but it looks like a Saluki, but I think you're supposed to brush the fur over the body. You've got B, the failed face, which is the face with all the paint and stuff on. So I'm guessing that you take this off and underneath the dog actually has another face, which doesn't look quite so messy which again is, is quite a neat idea you've got the face mask, the comb and the hat so take a before photo apply magic mask press until it clicks behind the fur right then you brush her fur while you're waiting for the mask to work begin at the tips using the comb's wide bristles work your way up to the head and finish with the thinner brush set brush more and then we turn over, pull away from fur, and you reveal her face. Now, what this is, is you attach this to the face, and when you pull it away, because it's got those little bits of fur there, that will come away with this. So it looks like you've, you've just peeled off the mask and she's looking fresh underneath. I really like that idea. I haven't seen anything like that before. I mean, there's probably toys that have things like that. But I, I like that. Although I do, I do kind of like the scruffy face. So I hope I can take it back out of this again and put it back on her if I want to, you know. Complete the look with the hat and take another picture. And there you go. Oh, there we go. These are the ones I was telling you about. The purple cat. There's the one that's got the teeth out everywhere and the really, really messy fur. You've got her and there was a, a horse, which isn't pictured, which is kind of a shame because the horse was the funniest. It was just its face. Okay, so let's see if we can give her a makeover then. So, you put this onto her, click it in either side, like this, it will go in. It's really hard to get in the other side. There we go. Right, so she's got her face mask on. And then while she's got her face mask on, we're supposed to brush her fur, starting at the tips. to brush out all of this gel that they've put in. Let's use this one actually, I think it said to use that, didn't it? Start with the, the wider one and then go to the thinner one. Ah, oh, there we go, look, see it's all coming out now. Like that. Now obviously it doesn't matter how fast or slow you do this, it's designed to give you the impression of you have to take, you know, whatever time over doing the fur because the mask has to work. But because the face will come away with the mask, then um, it, it's just it'll work whenever you take the mask off. So you can see that the fur is looking a bit nicer now. And as always with this nylon sort of hair stuff that you get on My Little Ponies and the like, um, how it's been put in the box will always affect it, at least at first. So, see the back fur is slightly nicer. And then you move on to the thinner one once you've got most of the gel out. And you can see the fur's looking a bit better. I've not done this since I was a kid. This is the fun of it, I suppose, isn't it? And to be fair, for something that costs like four quid, it's quite entertaining. It reminds me of when I was playing with my little ponies and things as a child. So there we go. It's looking much better now. Oh, she's got a little bit. Maybe this needs to be some more gel that I missed there. That needs to go around the other side as you can see there. 
underneath our face mask. And I'm pretty sure when you take the face mask off, the fur that's underneath it will probably come, perhaps come down a little bit as well, which will be good. And this is basically the video. You get to watch me brushing a dog's hair throughout the whole thing. It's quite fun, isn't it? It's probably quite boring for you people watching. Um, and the, I will tell you quickly now, while I'm doing all this, is the reason that I decided to go to the toy shop and look for something was because when I did the, um, oh, what were they called? It's the little dog that you put in the, in the wash and he come, he arrives, it's like a little rescue dog and you put him in the wash, although mine was a cat, and you wash him in the sink with the shampoo and everything and it, it's one of those that is a ball and it opens up to be a little animal. And that video proved to be really popular and it was something I went into the toy shop and just bought on a whim thinking, oh, this is different. So I thought I'd do that this Christmas to see if any of these things would be popular and if people want to see more of them. Right, and I have to say this is slightly more entertaining than the robot dog I did in the last video. So anyway, once <coughs> the fur is... I don't quite know what's going on with that. Um, once the fur is it's nice and pretty, even though it's got a, a bit that's... Over there. That's the problem with the plastic fur, it's nylon fur. You can take off the face mask and are you ready to see what her face actually looks like underneath? As long as her head doesn't come off. Let's just hold her down here. So we just take this off and ta-da! There we go, she's got lovely eye makeup on there and she's got <laughs> lots of mascara. And there she is in all her glory. And then we can put our hat on. Another nice thing about this is there's not too many accessories. I mean, the hat, that's, that's not too bad, you know? There we go. And she's an Afghan wearing a hat. And there you have it. That's a fail fix pet. So, whoops. I think her hair's supposed to hold her hat on. Does she, does she actually stand up now? Let's move the fur away from the feet. See, oh, her hat's gone again. Do that. Of course, with the hat on, she might fall over. Let's tip it back a bit so that... There we go. Okay. And there you have it. The Fail Fix Pets. Um, and I would rate this for a sort of entertainment value. I'd probably rate this kind of an 8. It doesn't do very much past what you've done. Um, you can't, well I suppose you could re-mess the hair up, but without like gel or whatever you can't really do that. You can put the face back on again. Um, it's in the, the face mask here, but you could probably get this out of the face mask. Yeah, you can, you can just pop it out. So, I will show you now what this looks like. It looks like something off Five Nights at Freddy's, doesn't it really? So, that's what it looks like. Um, without, but you can just put that back on and you can do it all again. Like I said, perhaps not the hair so much, but you can kind of perhaps, you know, if you, if you still have an imagination, you can make up a story of, I don't know, she's goes out adventuring and gets all dirty and then has to go for a, a makeover or something, I don't know. Um, I used to be brilliant at making up stories, but as you get older, you kind of lose that flair and you get all your toys out and stuff and then you're just like, ah. Oh, I don't know what to do with them now, so you put them all away. I don't know if anyone else has found that when they grew up, but I certainly did, and it was really disappointing, one of the most disappointing parts of growing up. But anyway, there you go, the Fail Fix Pets. I would recommend this if you want something that's quirky and fun, they're not expensive. Again, another nice stocking filler for your kids, or if you are a kid yourself, it's something nice to sort of collect if you like little pet figures and things like that. It's quite entertaining and you can do it over and over if you wish as well. So it's not like the limited entertainment of like a hatching pet or something like that. You can do it again. So there you go. Right. If you want to see more little unboxings and things, check out the boxes that come up below. You can always uh, check out my Etsy and New Monday stores if you want last minute gift ideas for commissions or even artwork or even I sell key rings and stickers. 
anything like that or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi if you enjoy what I do so stay safe stay healthy and keep being awesome this is Silver signing off